Hey guys, how's it going? It is grocery haul time. I have got everything here except a couple key items. I will run through that and all of our totals at the end. Stick around for that and see just how our budget is playing out and things are working out right now. Okay guys, here is everything we've got. Not a lot, but yet just enough for this week. Okay, so back here, we've got a thing of corn dogs, a thing of snacks for the kids because our snack door is actually looking pretty bare. We've got Cheez-Its that everybody's still working on um, when they have those kind of snacks, but um, that's pretty much it for now. One bag of barbecue chips. Uh, we're kind of tapering down on the chips again for the moment. Uh, the kids have had enough nachos and things like that. We've got remnants of several bags, so we're going to work through that this week, and then we'll see what we get for next week. Uh, two things of almond milk. I mean, same thing I say every time because we go through that for cereal, and I use it primarily for my coffee. Um, one thing you guys haven't seen a whole lot this summer, but... My classic trick, uh, two bags of frozen peas because they work great as ice packs when you're at the store and you have to make more stops. So we actually use those typically in like the shepherd's pie and stuff. So those will go in the freezer and get used and they help keep everything cold while Sean was at the store because he did do the shopping again. We, I will go over that at the end too. Uh, we've got some ground cinnamon because we're about out of that. One more container of cotton candy grapes. We've got about half a container in the fridge and he decided to just get one this week. We've got two tubs of honey butter. We have been actually been out of that for a little while and they were out of it last week. So um, finally got some more of that. Thing of eggs, I forgot to write down the quantity of how much we actually need there. So hopefully that will be enough. Got a bag of pears, uh, more carrots. I had a thing of carrots out in the garage fridge and I don't know what happened to them, but I have never seen stuff grow in a bag like that. It was really nasty. So we had to get some new ones. Uh, more lettuce again. We've got the yardo beef. We do like to use those for those homemade Lunchables. Uh, it's really fast and easy when we're on the go. Um, or even recently I had teenagers who went on a picnic with some friends and they took a bunch of that. Better cheddars. Those are actually really good in the air fryer, guys, if you want to try that. Um, it crisps them up and stuff without smoking up your house. It's really nice. Two things of hot dogs because, well, it's time to get some more of those. We use them on occasion for different things. We have got two of the fryer chickens again. This is nine and a half pounds. Guys, the chickens last week ended up not getting used. We did not pay any attention. Uh, we've never had an issue with the dates before. And this one says 928, then we have to use it by. But uh, he had grabbed the ones last week as the guy was putting them out. So didn't even think to look at the date. Turns out they had a sell by of that day. We didn't touch them for three or four days. Um, thinking that they would be fine like every other time, and they weren't. So we actually ended up having to toss them because they were bad. We've got a bag of frozen chicken breasts. Um, I had intended on him grabbing some frozen and raw chicken breasts, but I did not make that very clear on the list either. We've got a bag of onions, bag of potatoes, uh, mac and cheese. It's time to stock up on that. And he actually found that Walmart has started carrying our Annie's mac and cheese in a couple of the flavors that the kids like. Um, they also like the Parmesan uh, swirl ones, but it's $1.16 a box at Target and $1 a dollar a box at Walmart. So, and we watch for the dollar a box sale at Target anyhow, so it just kind of makes sense that if we can get it for that at Walmart, well, sorry Target, Walmart's getting our business at this point. Um, it is what it is. So we've got Amy's three cheese and kale bake. Uh, those are mine along with these happy foodie Southwest style chicken bowls. These are um, grain free and everything. It's actually a rice cauliflower that's in there. Um, really nice and quick and easy when I need them, as well as a bean and rice burrito and then super glue because why wouldn't we have that with our groceries? Okay, let me flip this. I'll tell you guys the totals. Okay guys, so there is our entire haul that Sean brought home today. I am really happy to report that our $300 budget is staying firmly intact and that we are actually managing to stay under. I really did not think that we would stay under this week. And there's actually a chance um, that we wouldn't have uh, with the raw chicken if we'd gotten that, plus other things that are happening. So today's total, um, actually came to right about $234. That keeps us, what, $66 under budget, which is great. Uh, we do have to go to Safeway and get apples and bananas. Um, we're probably gonna have at least $20 in produce there. 
And then I did have to order pasta. I haven't had to order that in a little while, uh, but we are finally out of our Tinkyata uh, rice pasta. And that I ordered from Amazon in bulk. And that was another, I think it was $23 and change there. So um, adding all of that up, it's gonna take us right, just right up to that $300 mark, but we are still staying in budget. And that is phenomenal. Now, had we gotten the raw chicken breast as well, that would have um, changed that a little bit. So I guess that actually works out this week. Um, I will put that on the meal plan for next week uh, and rearrange things that way. And it all works because we've got all of the other chicken, we've got our fried chickens, we've got all of that. And I don't know why I have never made a point to sit down in front of everything when I finish videos like this before. Because, you know, it just kind of works. So, whatever. Anyhow, in the meantime, I hope that you guys are having a blessed day. If you have any questions or comments about how we do our budgeting or make all of this work, leave that in the comment section down below. And I hope that you guys are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything else coming up next. And we'll see you in the next one.